Hey guys, class is now in session. Today, we're gonna download and install the Betaflight Configurator. Let's get started. This is the first real episode in my Basics of Betaflight series, and today, we're just gonna download and install the Configurator. This is just literally our first step, right? Let's get to it. I'm going to be doing the downloading and installing through Google Chrome. What I'm trying to do is duplicate a scenario that is most likely for the majority of people out there. Uh, if you don't use Google Chrome or if you're using a different operating system other than Windows, then this might vary a little bit for you. But generally speaking, where you're going to get the software from and kind of overall how you're going to do the installation, especially if you're on Windows, uh, is going to be relatively similar. So I already have Google Chrome up and I've done a search for Betaflight Configurator and these are the search results that I get. Now we have a few items here and there's a couple that we should actually stay away from. The first item here, Betaflight Configurator Chrome Web Store. This is the old Chrome version of the Betaflight Configurator. This is no longer viable. We no longer use this to work with our quads. So make sure you skip this link for the Chrome Web Store. The second link here is going to take us to the Betaflight GitHub page that is going to allow us to download the configurator. I'm gonna have a direct link to this page in the description to make it easy for you guys to find. Once you click on this link, you're gonna be taken to the Betaflight configurator download page. The current version is version 10.2.0 and this might change as time goes on. Actually, I guarantee it's gonna change as time goes on, but they're always gonna have the most recent version on the top of the page. Just to show you as an example, if I scroll down, we can see we have Betaflight Configurator 10.1.0, and if we keep going even lower, here's the previous version. But we don't want any of those, so I'm gonna go back to the top here. And Betaflight Configurator 10.2.0, this is the most recent version. Now we need to figure out which item we need to click to do our download. If you're on Windows, you're gonna want the executable. And it's just this guy right here, Betaflight Configurator Installer 10.2.0 Win32.exe. So I'm gonna click on that guy and it should initiate our download. As we can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, Chrome is now downloading the Betaflight Configurator. I have not made any changes to Chrome, so it's going to download into its default location. Make sure you know where that folder is. If you don't, I'm going to show you an easy way to still be able to open the Configurator once the download is complete. It shouldn't take very long for the download to take place. It's not a large file. And in fact, mine has finished just during this duration of time that I've been talking to you guys. Once the download is complete, I'm just going to simply click on the downloaded item and we can see it says opening Betaflight configurator. And in a moment here, I'm gonna get a warning from Windows. And what this is saying, it's like, hey, do you know what's going on here? Are you sure that you want to install this app, Betaflight Configurator 10.2.0? I think we do because well, I'm pretty sure we want Betaflight in our computer, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. And now the wizard should open. The install is relatively simple. Once we get the main installation window open, I'm just going to click next. We're going to have to agree to the license. I don't recommend changing the default destination folder unless you know what you're doing and chances are you're just going to leave this how it is anyway. Right now I'm going to click on install and the wizard's going to start installing the configurator. Now that installation is complete, I have a checkbox here that says run Betaflight configurator. What this means is if you leave this checked, upon clicking finish, the Betaflight Configurator is going to automatically open for you for the first time. Let's give it a shot. Okay. 
Okay, we have now successfully installed our Betaflight configurator. I'm just going to maximize it here. And that's literally it on the install. Pretty darn simple. Really, just need to do the download, click on next and agree, and that's about all there is to it. Congratulations. Part one is now complete, and we have successfully installed the configurator. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to download and install all the drivers you're going to need in order to be able to connect your flight controllers. After that, I think we're going to flash a little bit of firmware to a board, and we're going to keep moving forward through all the individual items in the configurator one at a time. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Maybe I can convince you to subscribe. While you're surfing the interwebs, maybe I can talk you into visiting hotdogfpv.com. They are simply the best sponsor ever, so please give them a visit. Check me out on Instagram, at Derek and his drone. But that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.